Well, it's a good day to be a homeschooler. We're talking about uh, conduction, convection, and radiation today. And uh, my youngest here was asking about water bottles and which one keeps water cold. And so we're gonna sacrifice this hydro flask that we got used for eight or nine dollars. We're gonna cut it open. It's aluminum and these are tungsten carbide teeth, so it's not too bad for the blade. We're gonna just rotate it here on the sled with a stop block. And we'll see what's inside of there. Film, huh? <laughs> That'll give me some views. All right, so. Careful, it's probably hot. Oh, yeah, it's probably hot. Well, I should probably finish the cut. I'll oh, be careful. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can just bend it over here for the rest of the time. There you go. Whoa. So that's how a oh. vacuum flask works. Now, what you don't see is that as soon as I started cutting in, basically air from the atmosphere rushed inside of that gap because it was under low pressure or what we sometimes call a vacuum. And you can see, look, this piece actually just kind of sits in there at the bottom. It's this, oops, it's this little cap here uh, that brings the sealant. And the bigger that gap is, the more it would insulate. So if it was real fat, it would hold ice for even longer. It would hold hot drinks for even longer. And uh, the the lower the pressure they pull it into, the greater pressure differential, but then the better it How can you push the plastic? Uh, it's not plastic. Okay. Well, yeah. Push it and you can fatigue it to death. Well, it's sharp. Uh, no. It's sharp, so. Yeah, anyway, that's how a vacuum flask works. And um, yeah, hopefully someone on YouTube enjoyed that. Uh, no one got injured. Was it unsafe? Uh, use maybe. earmuffs. I had safety glasses on and I used a sled and I used a uh, stop block, so. And use earmuffs. I've seen worse on the internet, let's put it that way. All right, thanks, Petey. Have a good day, everybody.